Hello everybody, this is the Johnny Mayor, and welcome to my latest challenge in the Johnny vs. Novell Challenge series. So Novell challenged me to play the game, you are the road actually through his link, but uh, I think he meant this game, which is Three Body Problem. So basically I am the little purple square, and uh, I have to avoid these little orange squares, which I did not do there. So yeah, basically you move around, some of these tiles in the background are gonna light up like that. And you just have to run your little purple square over them. And uh, you get points. Jeez. And uh, the purpose of the game is to not die, of course. And to try to amass the highest score possible. Oh jeez. And, uh, for the challenge, Novell has challenged me to beat a score of 10 and get at least 11. Ow. So we're halfway there. Ah. So basically, it's all about, oh man, being able to spatially predict where the little orange guys are gonna be and also having the reaction time to move your little square but it looks like they also speed up if they you know bounce off of walls and stuff Whoa. oh thought I had it there where I could uh, just go in between them so you want to be very careful so I'm gonna have to probably learn to deke them and basically try to fake them out. It looks like they continue in a line. Ow, and track you. Whoa. So far I'm not doing so well. But, you know. I have faith in myself, I guess. I will beat this challenge because I have a very, very, very fun challenge in mind for Novell's next one. And for me to be able to do what I want with that challenge, I need to beat this challenge. So I am at nine points and basically one point away from winning this challenge series. Okay. Now those little orange blocks remind me of the cameras in Metal Gear Solid. Of course, I do have Metal Gear Solid on the brain because I'm gonna be starting my Metal Gear Solid 2 walkthrough once I finish my Resident Evil 2 walkthrough for uh, Leon. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break before I actually start Claire B scenario on Resident Evil 2. It's doing so well there. During that break, I'm going to play Metal Gear Solid 2, and I actually will get to play the uh, Legacy Collection, which has the HD version of the game. So I will be able to put out the best possible visuals for that game in my walkthrough. I think, uh, ooh, new high score. I think the first Metal Gear is the only game now in the series that is not HD with the remakes. So, uh, we'll just have to go with my original LP of it, or walkthrough. My walkthrough LP, I guess. Which, you know, is a distinction that I do make. A Let's Play is just playing a game with commentary, and a walkthrough is a complete playthrough of a game that shows off, you know, pretty much everything, and also gives you strategies and such for it. Yeah, I was so close, too, to 10. Now I do need to get to 11. That seems to work. Let's go back and forth in the middle. Try to fake them out. 10! <laughs> Death! Now, Novell said in the video 11, but then in the description of the video, he said just score 10, so... Technically, I beat the challenge, but I'm gonna go for at least 11. Whoa. 
Ah, nine, ten. There we go. Oh. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna keep going though. Part of me wants to see if I can get to twenty. Especially since, you know, this video is only about five minutes long at this point. So if I can beat my high score of 12, if I can get at least 15, uh, then we'll call it an episode. And since I did beat the challenge, that means I can use the uh, next challenge that I want for my series. So I'll be adding a little montage to the end of this episode from an LP I did. There we go, 17. So that is the challenge, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And now enjoy a montage, which will preview Novell's next challenge that he has to complete. Well, part of that challenge that I will be issuing tomorrow. Thanks for watching, viewers. Enjoy the montage, and I will see you all next time.